we're going to be taking a look at a new product that appears to be a direct ripoff of the Cricut Maker. Buckle up, guys. Welcome to The Sewing Report. I'm Jen. This channel is all about sewing and crafts and making them fun and approachable. This is a live edition. We had to do it sort of an emergency broadcast thing because I got this, I got word of this new product that literally looks like it is a direct dupe for the Cricut Maker. So we're going to be taking a look at that. Hope you guys are having a great Wednesday. Let me know where you're watching from. I haven't gone live in a while. We're also going to get some, some music, some lo-fi music to sort of get our groove on. So as you are uh, trying to slog through the work week, hopefully we can take your mind off everything that's going on. So welcome, welcome. All right, let me, we're playing around here. We've got some, some stuff to show you. I'm Jen. If you don't know, I do sewing and crafts videos here. And I thought this was pretty interesting because uh, we've already seen some dupes of Cricut products, but this to me is the first direct dupe of an actual Cricut machine. So we're going to be taking a look at that. Hope you guys are having a great one so far. All right. Let's see if I can get some of this stuff up. Okay. So this new product is called Locklick. Kind of interesting. All right, let me pull this up real quick. I don't know what happened to my share screen thing. That's pretty weird. All right, here we go. All right, so let's pull this up. Okay, whoops. All right. All right, we're going to pull this up in a second. All right. Sorry, guys. Technical issues here. What is going on with my computer? All right, let's see here. What is going on with all this stuff? I'm continuing to have issues with this computer. I don't know what's going on, but this is not playing well today. Fun times, huh? All right, here we go. All right, so let me show you the product first. Hold on a second. Okay, and I want to know what you think, but because to me, this product looks directly like a dupe of the now now seriously what does this look like to you guys this looks exactly like the Cricut maker and this new product is called the lock lick and i found out about it because i got an instagram ad for it and i was like what what the hell is this so i got an ad and i was scoping out the website because i was like what is this i was like this looks literally i mean this looks I love how they're not even trying to pretend it's a knockoff. It is literally a direct knockoff of the Cricut Maker. So this this new machine is called the Locklick Crafter. Now let's take a look. I, I am very curious about this product. I have a lot of questions. It's not out yet, and I'm also wondering about the prices for this stuff. So let's, uh, all right, what is going on here with my screen? Sorry, every once in a while my screen just sort of flies out. Okay. That is weird. All right, what is going on? All right, hold on a second, guys. All right, that's not good. All right. All right I'm trying to get out and go to my computer, but that is not really, uh, not really happening here. Oh my gosh. All right. I feel like, why even try with this thing? All right, let me unhook. We're gonna unhook the iPad for a second. All right, and hopefully, I can get back to the actual computer because you're probably seeing a StreamYard screen and that is like not really good. Oh, here we go. Okay. All right. So we're finally. All right. Hold on a sec. Stand by with me, guys. Okay. We're going to get this re. It's like every time the iPad goes to sleep or something. It just is, this is not working. All right, hold on a second. All right, we are going to be, okay. All right, oh, here we go. All right, now it's back. Okay, there we go. Anyways, this product, I went to the website just to see what it was all about 
and it seems like they've copied Cricut's whole business model. So this is called the Lock Lick. I also found it interesting that the name is sort of like a play on Cricut already. So like Cricut is like Cricut, this is Lock Lick. And they have a web basic website, they've got a YouTube channel and stuff. And this looks to me pretty much exactly like the Cricut Maker, although it says this seems to be more like the Cricut Maker 3 because it says uh, cut materials up to 12 inches in width, but with unlimited length and unlimited cutting length uh, requires matless materials. So that's kind of interesting. So that is more uh, like that is a feature that my Cricut, my Cricut 1 does not have. It's got Bluetooth and USB connections um, coming soon. So not a lot, but it looks like they also have their own free soft. Now the software claims to be free and they've already have a lot of random SVGs that you can buy. So I don't know all of the details and the pricing of this thing, but this is kind of, I don't know, I just find this whole thing pretty interesting to me at least. So let's take a look. So another weird thing about this product is that, let me just put this full screen. Another weird thing about this product is I went to this tab that says member or something. Oh wait, no, not member. Oh, this is kind of interesting. And the company behind this is called HTV Runt and they already sell a lot of supplies for Cricut and Silhouette machines. They sell vinyl, they sell a lot of different paper crafting stuff. And here's the weird thing. So here's the strange thing about this product is that it says sign up. Hello crafters, introducing our newest cutting machine sign up or get samples. I'm like, what is a sample? Is it like, what is this? So it seems like they are trying to give, actually give away some of these machines in exchange for like reviews or you posting about it on social media. Now it, like this to me is very odd. Like whoever heard of a crafting company giving away the machine? I know that sometimes they do the influencer thing where they'll send stuff to influencers like myself in exchange for a video or whatever. Um, the retail, now if this is right, this is the retail price is $169. If so, that is a drastic price difference from the Cricut. So I just have, I just really wanna know, like I'm, my curiosity is killing me here. How close is this to an actual Cricut Maker 3? And because the Cricut Maker 3, I just looked it up. Check this out. The Cricut Maker 3 is $429. So if that's right, the Cricut Explore 3 is 301, Cricut Explore Air 2, 199. So if this pricing really is legit, then this Locklet Crafter thing is cheaper than it undercuts any of the Cricut products. So to me that's pretty that's pretty ballsy, let's be real. I'm also kind of wondering what Cricut what Cricket's legal team is doing about this, but I just, I'm like, what the heck? Uh, but this, the company that's making this, HTV Rund, they, again, this is just your, you know, standard crafting vinyl supplies website and stuff. So nothing super new, but I also noticed when I went to the website, I think it's kind of interesting too, because they're already selling knockoffs of the Cricut heat presses. So this is their, this is a new product they have called the auto heat press presale. And this product I believe is like $299. And it's clearly supposed to be a knockoff of the new like Cricut smart press or whatever it is, the Cricut auto press. But I noticed the Cricut auto press, here, let's take a look here. So the Cricut heat press, here, let's take a look. I believe their auto press is like something like a thousand. It's like, okay, yeah. The Cricut auto press is a thousand dollars. So that's super pricey. But if you go to this HTV run auto heat press, theirs is like 299. Yeah. So, oh, 279, not, it's 279 plus you get a free gift. So it's like, that's pretty strange, right? I mean, how, how weird is this? I don't know. I'm just like, What's going, I'm just like, what's going on here? So, I don't know, I'm very curious. Have you guys heard of this product before, this Locklick? And have you heard of HTV Runt? I have 
literally never heard of this company before. I don't know where they, like, I don't know what the heck is going on. I don't know where they're based out of. Like, this probably is, I'm going to, okay, so it says down at the bottom, it says Siju Tech. So that's, that's Asia, that's definitely Asia. But I'm just like, what in the world is going on here? And like, what is this? So let's take a look at the video. All right, so let's, all right, I'm going to show you guys the video here. Hold on a second. All right, we're going to play this video. All right, let me know if you guys have audio on the video too. Let me know if you guys can hear it. All right, so you guys can't, all right, so no audio on the video, is that right? All right, sorry about that. I just, I am so curious about this product. I'm just like, like, what is this? But the free sample program, I'm like very confused by that. It does seem like they're looking for people to do the marketing for them. And I've just noticed personally, I'll see a lot of these rando companies, they'll come out of nowhere They'll literally come out of nowhere and then they'll just start buying Facebook ads and Instagram ads to push the product. Literally never heard of them before. Like they have no reputation. I am just like, what in the world? But like, how much are these? I just want to know the cricket team has got to be shitting themselves right now because there, there's this foreign company that's clearly out of Asia that is making a literal dupe of the cricket maker for less than half the price. So if this is legit, they're, char they're gonna charge a retail $169. I kinda wanna buy this thing just to troll Cricut, I'm gonna be real. And I just really am very curious. I'm just so curious. Okay, so we got some comments saying that that uh, HTV Runt does, Am are they real active on Amazon? I'm just really, let's look them up real quick. Like what, I've literally never heard of this company before, but I got this Instagram ad and I was like, what, what the hell is this? All right, let's see. Are they on Instagram? Like that is so, this whole thing is so strange. All right, I'm trying to get back here. All right, my mouse is not, okay, here we go. Mouse is not working here. All right, so are, are these people on Amazon? Okay, it looks like they do have a storefront. Okay, so let's pull this up. Oh yeah, they've got, they definitely have an Amazon storefront. So they're gonna be selling really heavy on Amazon, I'm gonna guess, okay. Yeah, that's, that's definitely their play here, for sure. So they sell, like again, they already sell the vinyl. I guess they just wanted to make their own machine to compete with Cricut. Is that what it is? I like, this is so crazy. All right, I gotta, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and follow this store just to see what they're, I mean, the products, yeah, look at, they, and that's the funny thing is they already make all of this third-party 
materials, so the only thing they were missing was literally just the machine, and it looks like they may have reverse, I don't know if they reverse engineered it or what, this is so wacky to me. Uh, but, I mean, it's funny too, because they already, they're already directly ripping off, like they're totally ripping off the, uh, the heat presses, like that's, like no doubt about it, alright, heat press machine. I gotta say though, they're, uh, yeah, doesn't, th don't these look familiar? Yeah, these look totally familiar. I'm just like, this is hilarious. So HTV Rot, HTV Rot is, they're coming for Cricut. Like that's, that's definitely happening. I gotta be honest though, this auto heat press actually looks pretty dope and I'm really curious about this. This is actually more than what they're gonna apparently sell their Cricut Maker dupe though. Because the Cricut Maker Dupe is $169 and this is $279.99. But I mean, this does look sort of awesome. I like that you don't, uh, let's look at some of the features. I'm just really, I'm really curious about this. And this is definitely like way cheaper than any of the Cricut stuff. So their heat press actually looks pretty nice. I don't know, I, I kind of want it. All right, let's watch, let's look at the video here too. I mean, I'm just super curious about this. Like, and it looks like, I like how you don't have to apply any heat to it. I think that's pretty cool. What do you guys think? Is, is the auto heat press something you're interested in? I just think this looks pretty, like a pretty interesting product to me. And again, I am, uh, just a disclaimer, this is definitely not sponsored and I have zero affiliation with this company. Although I'm thinking, I'm literally thinking about buying some of this stuff just, just to see how it is. I don't know. Just because I'm like super curious about it. I like the colors. I like the aesthetics of these products. Okay, so we've got a few HTV Runt fans in the house. Okay. So Sarah, you said you've used some of the products. Are these people legit? This isn't a scam or anything? I don't know. I'm just super curious. But yeah, this looks, I, I, I think this looks kind of cool. Maybe it's me. I just, I, I sort of like this stuff. I'm curious about it. I'm just super curious. Like, what is, what is the deal with this stuff? <laughs> yeah, like, I'm excited about this too. And here's the ironic thing. We all know the debacle with Cricket a couple of years ago with what they tried to pull and how unhappy everybody was, myself included as a, a customer. And uh, since, since all of that, I still have my Cricut Maker, but I haven't wanted to feature the company or give them any free promotion just because I was really disappointed in everything they did, even though they did end up taking back their their original move where they were going to make everything subscription based which people were not great people were not real excited about but we saw that sec report too which i had detailed with the cow butt crunchies cosplay folks and they have really gone to great lengths to try to cut out all of the third party retailers selling compatible products it's really funny to me that there's this company now that's literally made a direct copy of their flagship product, which is the machine. And they're going to be selling these machines at less than half the price. I think that's super crazy. I don't know, I'm just like, <laughs> I. that's why I wanted to go live today. I was like, I gotta talk about this because this is kind of hilarious to me. I don't know, it's just, it's just really funny. It, it really is. And I'm just like, what in the world is going on here? So I don't know, like, is this something you guys would try? I know I've literally, like, I think it's interesting that there's some new competition in the crafting machine space. Right now, we really, I mean, we've got the Brother Scan and Cut, we've got Cricut, we've got Silhouette Cameo, and we also have the, that, did you guys hear about that product, the StarCraft Solo? Although that one I think was like $500, so that was not a lower priced option. I thought about buying that machine, but the price of it, I was like, that's super expensive and I wasn't sure. I, that's just a lot of money to spend on something just to try to do a review on it. So I was kind of like, yeah, but I mean, if this lock lick thing is for real, I personally would be interested in trying it just to see 
like really just to see what the deal is because I'm like really, I'm so curious about this. I mean, yeah, I'm excited about this too. I mean, this is kind of cool. Maybe it's just me, but I'm like, I, I'm will, you know, I, I'm willing to try this thing for a hundred, for 170 bucks. I would be willing to try it. I mean, just to see how it directly compares to Cricut and to see, I mean, even if it's sort of as good, for a lot of people, I think that's a much kinder price point than the $429 that Cricut is currently selling the Cricut Maker 3 for. And I just think that's kind of, kind of wild. Um, <laughs> so I know this is kind of a random live stream, but that's, that's what I wanted to talk about today and just see, like, see what the deal is. I'm just like, like, what the hell? <laughs> but I don't know. But what do you guys think? Is this something you're, is this something you're interested in trying? Like, I'm just, I'm just really curious. I'm, I'm really curious about it. I'm, I, I think I might, I think I might go ahead and buy this thing for real. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I, um, maybe, all right, let me see if I can do a, all right, on YouTube, I can do polls. I'm wondering if I can do polls here. I'm not really sure. But uh, is this something that you guys would want to see me try to buy? Just to, I mean, that's funny, like the cricket people. Are, and what do you think the cricket people are going to try to do? I know they've tried to sue other companies, trying to sell third-party stuff before, and they've been successful. I'm just wondering, like, there's a lot of intellectual property questions I have about all of this stuff, especially since this company lock, like, they're really not even pretending that this is a direct like seriously like a direct dupe knockoff for the Cricut Maker but for $169 that's pretty cheap and I I'm not really sure what's going on with their software yet from what it looks like on the website it appears like it's going to be free and it looks like they're going to have a bunch of SV free SVGs you know I'm curious to try out the software will you be able to import all of your own SVGs for free like what you know it, and it looks also I noticed on the website it said they had an offline mode so you don't have to be connected to the internet in order to use the product which I think is obviously a plus one of the negatives for me using the Cricut design space which honestly is a pretty sucky software to begin with uh, one thing I don't like is the fact that you have to be connected to the internet to use it you cannot use it without internet access and I think that's just not I, I think that's such an uh, like that's such a big deal and for a lot of people that's uh, kind of a deal breaker so I'm just really curious like what like what's the deal with this but uh yeah let's take another look at the website I think this machine has some promise like if I'm gonna be honest I think this looks pretty cool it definitely looks a lot like that like the cricket I, I also really want to know what's up with this free sample. Like, do, will they literally just send you a free machine? Like, is that... Okay, so here's the software. It says it's called Locklick Idea Studio. And they do already have a YouTube channel for Locklick and then something called Locklick Workshop, which I imagine is something they were going to do some tutorials with. Okay, yeah, here's the Locklick Workshop. So I imagine this is where they're going to be highlighting their free projects and maybe doing how-to videos. So if you're interested, check out their uh, YouTube channel and subscribe. So they've already got their kind of framework up for all of the projects. I don't know. What do you guys... I don't think the projects look bad. I mean, there are no better or worse than the Cricut projects. And I imagine maybe things will only get, you know, more expansive as the product is out more. I'm also wondering about how much the accessories will cost. It looks like they, I mean, they're already going to use their own third-party cutting mats and they probably make their own blades and stuff. So I'm just wondering how much of the ecosystem, like what kind of accessories they're going to be, they're going to make in order to, for you to go with this new machine, the Locklick. So it's called the Locklick Crafter. And here's some of the SVGs. I'm wondering how, if they're going to have some like projects, like what is going to go off, like what is the deal? And how, when is this coming out? I, I might try to contact Locklick just to ask some questions. Oh, here, okay, so here's some projects. All right, so here, all right, they've got phone cases. Let's see what else they got here. 
All right, not a lot of projects so far, but hey, it's it's still new. Okay, it looks like you can upload your own designs. I wonder, okay. Okay, this is interesting. So you can upload your own, I guess, if you want to share stuff with the community, something like that. I don't know. Uh, let's take a look more at the... Uh, all right, so this is the software. Okay, and it says free crafting experience. So hopefully, Locklick will we'll hold you to that. The Cricut crafting community definitely knows what that's like. Um, I did sign up to get updates, and I might actually contact them just to see if I can get some information. Okay, they've got an email. They've got a, I'm gonna try to email them, I think, just to see like when this is coming out, see if I can get more information. Um, I, if anyone wants to try to join this free sample program, let me know what, <laughs> let me know what goes on. But it says that you can get, all right, so it looks like six people have applied. I, this is very confusing to me. But it says, you, okay, and they have some rules. So literally it says, it's a program for Locklick members to experience our products freely, like literally for free. Check the rules and apply for the sample, and then we'll send you a new and free machine once you've been selected. After trying the machine, you can show the product reviews on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and other communities or social media. Very clearly, it looks like they want influencer marketing to be a big part of this which is very common with any new startup companies or any new products coming out. So, I mean, I don't, honestly, I don't really wanna join the free sample program. I really just wanna buy it outright so there's no strings attached. But if this thing really is just literally 169, let's check this out, $169 for the Cricut dupe, then I, I, I'm totally game. I'm gonna, I feel like I should do this, I really, I really do. So I don't know, what do you guys think of this? Is this something you would wanna try? If you already own a Cricut, is this something you wanna to try to do just to get out of the Cricut ecosystem? Like what, what do you think? Should I become a member? I don't even, I'm so confused about this. Me uh, what, like in lock, like if you guys are watching, what the hell is this member program? Like I don't, I'm really confused on what this is, but I'll probably, I'll probably try to join join this and hey if i get this and i like this they i did check the htv runt site and they do have an affiliate program so hey that's cool too so that's what it, this is all about i'm also really curious about this heat press i think their heat press looks pretty cool too i mean i think it's interesting to see some new players come into the uh the space give cricket a run for their money and what do you guys think i just want to know too what will cricket do in response to new competition that's selling products that are equivalent quality and that are cheaper. Like what, what do you think this, what do you think is gonna happen? All right, Helen says, if you can use third-party software, it could be a winner. That would be amazing for sure. Yes, I think you should try it. I've been using the HTV for a while and I like it. Okay, so Sarah says some YouTubers already have reviewed the press. Okay, so do people like the heat press? I'm curious about the heat press. The heat press looks like definitely like an upgrade to the regular standard Cricut heat press. And it's one third, the pr literally one third the price of that Cricut Otter press that costs a thousand dollars. So I'm really curious about that. But what like, and also like, let me know down in the comments or in the chat, what do you predict Cricut is going to do in response to this new launch? Do, are they gonna lower the price on the maker? Are they gonna try to sue HTV Front? Like what is gonna happen? All right, I'll have to look up some YouTube reviews. I have not seen any YouTube videos other than Locklicks on the actual Locklick crafter machine. So this is definitely kind of a new thing. I'm probably gonna email the company and see if I can get some more information, um, but also like see if I can get more of the specs on the machine. Um, and also, like, if the software is halfway decent, I can also see this being, uh, a, like, a, a pretty good sell for anyone who doesn't already own a Cricut or who wants to get a new machine. I can see some people doing that. So, I'm so curious. All right, so Helen says, went with the Silhouette Cameo 4 Pro because I can use third-party software exactly, and I can cut out PDF sewing patterns easily. Yes, and that is super cool. So, I'm just so, I'm so so curious about this what is gonna happen like what is i don't know like what i just i have so many questions 
But I, I just want to know, like, what are the cricket people going to do about this? Are they freaking out? Are they going to try to, like, file, like, a lawsuit against this company? Like, what is going to happen? Because I'm just like, there could be some interesting drama. I'm just, I'll just say that. There could be some interesting drama from all this. So, I don't know. But I just wanted to jump on real quick. It's been a little bit since I've done a live. Let me get a sip of water real quick. Okay, so we got a couple couple comments here. Hopefully this will make them lower their prices. I mean, yeah, I mean, that's the only thing they're going to be able to do short of trying to get, I can see them maybe trying to run HTV run out of business somehow. Like, but this could get kind of ugly. Like, and also I, I know Cricut has some patents on their products already. Obviously this company probably did enough legal work to figure out how to get around it. And we all know there's knockoffs of so many different products not even in the crafting space but like there's i mean it's really hard to litigate all of the intellectual property infringement that goes on especially when the company is overseas because you know it's just it's just difficult and if they change it so much then maybe they can get away with it i don't know so all right so sarah says cricket should lower the price Maybe they will see that there is interest for budget price. I know everything Cricut makes is so freaking expensive. And I will say this, I've tried, oh, excuse me. I've tried a lot of the Cricut branded uh, vinyl. I personally don't like it. I think for the price it is, I for me, it hasn't performed. It hasn't performed to a level that I would expect for what they're charging for the price. So I full, wholeheartedly recommend the third party vinyl or the off-brand vinyl that you can get on Amazon. I've had just as much luck with that, and it's cheaper, so that's that's what I have to say about it, but I don't know, kinda, kinda fun times. What's everybody up to this Wednesday? What's everybody doing? I've been doing some editing. After this, I'm gonna try to shoot another video for this channel, and I've also been uh, trying to get ready for the holidays. Um, just an update for everybody too. I've been getting some questions on whether there will be a, another holiday sewing kit. And this year, I'm actually not going to be doing a brand new holiday sewing kit. Um, what I'm going to be doing, and uh, here, I'll bring, I'll bring up the Etsy shop. Just a quick, quick plug for, for the Sewing Report Etsy shop here. So what I'm going to be doing is, I still have a lot of fabric from the Peppermint line of fabric from last year. So I, so I still have some holiday sewing kits from 2021 available. So if you missed the boat last year, you can still get in on it this year because I have some left. And I, I made our bundle and this is brand new for this year. And I'm going to be sewing with this fabric line. So I, I'm going to be doing some more holiday sew along videos with new projects. And I will be using the Figo Fabrics Peppermint Fabric Bundle. It is so cute and I just love the fabric and I still have a lot of it left. And I also purchased some new prints of it. So if you are interested in sewing along with me this holiday season, I know it's only September, but it's never too early to start your Christmas sewing, which I've already done. And I have two, I already have as of September, two sew along videos for the holidays the mini basket and then the clear vinyl zip patch so if you haven't seen those tutorials they're very detailed step-by-step -step videos and uh, i'm using the peppermint collection so this is a bigger bundle than i offered last year it's 29 dollars, and you get five not fat quarters but half yard uh half yard cuts of each of the five prints so they're super cute you've got the this little really cute um um, mistletoe holly stuff you've got the orange stars you've got this is my favorite print this is the gift bows I also love how this fabric line is holiday themed but it's not your traditional red and green Christmas colors you've got the uh, holly I think these are holly leaves or, or, or mistletoe sprigs something like that and then the pink Christmas tree fabric and these these three prints the orange stars the uh, the green leaves and then the pink Christmas trees. These are new prints. The I did not have these prints uh, last year. So if you're interested in sewing along with me, these are the fabrics I will be using. They're so cute, and I will be offering that. I, the shop does have free shipping over thirty five dollars. Uh, I also have some other 
New products, just a quick plug. I'm now carrying Glide Trilobo Polyester Thread in 40 weight. A lot of quilters really like this thread. I've been using it myself. I really like it so far. I also have some new items. These are uh, some new, uh, a variety pack of the superior to titanium coated top stitch needles. This is a super cute bundle and I haven't had a chance to sew with it yet. Uh, but this is a fat quarter bundle by Riley Blake and it's called Hibiscus. And it's got a lot of like blush, green, yellow, uh, pink tones, and it has llamas. That's the coolest thing. It's got llama prints and florals and lots of other cool stuff. This is a very modern line and I really like it. It's modern, but it's also kind of whimsical. So I have a few of these left as well. And I also have a couple other uh, fabric bundles and then some Tula pink accessories. And also I'm gonna be sewing more with these Stripe It Up zippers. These have been pretty popular in the shop. This is a striped zipper tape and it comes with uh, three yards and it comes with eight zipper pulls. I have this in uh, three different colors. I have the black and white stripe with gold zipper pull. I also have the blue and white stripe with silver with silver. Oh, and also these are nylon zippers, so you can sew over these. I know they look like they're metal, but they're actually nylon, so you can sew over them and you won't break your needle. And then I also have this peach and white zipper tape with rose gold hardware, so lots of really cool stuff. So yeah, I'm really excited about this though. So the holidays are coming up and we've got lots of stuff all right, can you guys hear me? All right, I see a comment that says no audio video. Can you hear my voice okay? Let me know, let me know in the comments if you can hear me. Hopefully, let me check my mic real quick too. Hold on a second. All right, apparently my microphone is working, so let me know if you guys are having any issues. Uh, but I do still have a few of the holiday sewing kits, and this is last year's kit, but it comes with uh, three, this comes with a fat quarter bundle of three prints, and then it comes with already cut out pieces to make uh, a couple different sewing projects. It comes with enough to make the uh, uh, two of the drawstring bags I made last year. And then it also comes with enough to make a scrunchie. So I'm going to be making some more scrunchies this year. So that'll be a fun one. I think that's going to be one of my Christmas gifts that I'm making for uh, the people in my life this year. So we've got a lot of fun stuff in the, the sewing report Etsy shop. Check it out. I'm going to be doing some more. Uh, reviews and I actually use a lot of these products in a lot of the videos so I constantly use this clover marking pen my squeezy bottle for glue so a lot of the stuff that I sell in my own Etsy shop is stuff that I use myself every day in the uh, in, in videos that I'm doing so if you are interested in a lot of the products that I use that is where you can find them the sewing report Etsy shop just a quick quick plug for that uh, let me know. Okay, so let's get to a few more of these comments. Okay. Ooh. All right. So glitter and gloss my, 13 says, my guess is Cricut will try to shut this down ASAP. I would agree with that. I'm going to guess. I don't know what they're going to do, but they're not going to be very happy about a company selling a literal knockoff of their product at one third, at like less than double the price. That's probably not going to, not going to go over well. All right, original Cricut was a licensed copy of a Pazzles machine. Ooh, what's Pazzles? All right, let me look that up real quick. That's interesting, but it, I did look it up too. Cricut does have a few patents on their products, so. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so, all right, we got to pull this up, guys. We got to pull this up. Hold on a second. All right. All right, I did find it. Wow. This is interesting. They do still have a website. I don't know. Okay, they still, it looks like they still do sell like a machine or something. That's kind of interesting. All right, so let's pull this up. Okay, this is the Paz, thanks for that. This is the Pazzles website and they sell a machine called the Inspiration View. Okay, I've never, literally never heard of this product before. Okay, yeah, this this personal personal electronic die cutter. Yeah, I've never heard. Okay, so this is the Pazzles machine. This is four hundred about four hundred dollars. I wonder what they do for the software. Does anybody know? Okay, it says 
it uses in-view design software included with the machine. Imagine that, Cricut. Comes with, wow, that's interesting. So theirs comes with the software. You don't have to like buy a subscription to it or anything else like that. So, wow. Okay, thanks for the heads up on that. That is super art. Let's look at some photos. That is super crazy. I mean, this does look like kind of a dated, I will say I'm not loving the design of this machine, but if Cricut licensed the design from Pazzles, then Pazzles is actually the originator of the electronic die. Like who actually originated the die cutting machine? Was it Pazzles? Like who, who was it? I'm just really curious. Like that's, thanks for the tip on that. That's pretty interesting stuff there. All right, okay. And uh, to answer your question, Glitter and Gloss, I am I'm unfortunately not able to offer one yard bundles of the fabric. And the reason for that is because the shipping would be so uh, crazy expensive that the half yard bundle is the largest size where it makes sense to actually ship. Uh, the thing is because I'm not like an Amazon or a really huge corporation, um, I have to eat the shipping costs and the shipping is so expensive and I don't have that advantage of volume. So at this point in time, I can only offer, um, I'm not doing like yardage of fabric. Uh, I worked out the math and for me, it just works. For me, it just works out that it's just so expensive to ship anything that's heavy and fabric is super heavy that at this point in time, I'm just not able to offer fabric by the yard or very large cuts of fabric that may change in the future. But, uh, you know, at this point in time, I, it just, uh, it just doesn't make sense, so that's why I'm not doing that right now. Uh, but I've, I'm able to offer kind of smaller bundles, and that still makes sense from a shipping perspective. But for me, when it gets more than like a few yards of fabric, it gets so heavy, and then the shipping costs just get astronomical, and it eats away any margin I have price-wise, and it doesn't make sense to sell. So thank you, thank you for the support, though. But yeah, Pazzles, I did not did not know that. Um, but yeah, so let's, if you guys have any questions for me, um, I'll, ju I'll stay on for a little bit. If you have any rando questions about the sewing report, now's your chance, ask away. And I'd be happy to try to answer any questions that I can answer. I do get a lot of people like trying to DM me on Instagram or email with random questions about videos. So if you have any questions uh, for me, hit me up and, and we'll, see, see, we'll see what I can do. Let me just get a sip of water real quick. I, and also, do you guys like the lo-fi music? I tried to make the volume really low so it doesn't overpower my voice, but um, I do kind of feel like maybe some lo-fi music adds to the ambiance. I don't know, but uh, what do you guys think? Do you like it, love, like it, hate it? Would you rather have no music? I know sometimes um, I see people comment that they don't want overpowering music on videos, so I really try, when, when I do have music, I try to keep the volume super low so it's barely audible but it doesn't overpower um the my my voice or what i'm doing or be too distracting um so let me know uh let me know what you guys think but i'm jen with the sewing report if you are just joining me now we are talking about the cricket dupe it's called the locklick crafter and it's being offered for 169 dollars which is kind of wild because Cricut is currently selling the Cricut Maker 3 for $430. So that's what's up. We're just hanging and chilling on this Wednesday, Wednesday afternoon. I'm going to need some more water real quick. Also, I want to show you guys something. I got this necklace. It's like a sewing themed necklace. It's scissors and a heart. I think it's so cute. So I'm going to start wearing this in videos just because I think it's adorable and it's super cute. So I've got my sewing, I got my sewing gear on today. We're jamming, we're jamming. Woo. All right, music is cool, up to you. All right, thank you for that. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of dig the music. As long as, I think as long as it's not like ridiculously loud. I, I, I also personally don't mind lo-fi music on other channels as long as uh okay all right kathy's not a fan okay sorry kathy sorry kathy i guess you can't please everybody okay 
Yeah, and that's, I agree with you, Falana. As long as it's not, like, as long as it's really low, as long as the volume is really low, I personally uh, don't, I don't mind. Um, and the reason why I sometimes put music um, in the tutorials, I normally don't use a lot of music because I do feel like a lot of creators tend to use music as a crutch for the video. I find a lot of creators will make the music way too loud. Um, the only times I normally will use music is during, um, mon is during like kind of sped up montages of me do showing some steps where I'm not talking just so that it's not dead silence for like 20 seconds. Um, but I will try to make the volume very, very like not obnoxious. And then I will really fade it out in conjunction with the voiceover stuff, but I will make the music very, very low during those parts. So hopefully it doesn't annoy people, but you know, I don't know. We'll see. All right, Helen says, Silhouette is the consumer arm of the much older graph tech company that sells large commercial machines. Yeah, and I have noticed on Amazon, there are some like more commercial grade um, machines. They're very large and they're just kind of like plotter machines or cutter machines. So, I mean, it also is kind of reminiscent of a CNC machine as well, which is something my husband is dying to get, but we really can't justify uh, buying one at this point. Plus, my husband has this, like, very bad habit of buying a bunch of stuff for a new hobby and then using it once and then never using it again. So, I'm personally not, uh, I'm, I, you know, I mean, we just don't, we don't have a, a huge house or anything, so... I mean, it's got to go somewhere, and, uh, you know, we just don't have enough room for all of this stuff. He bought a 3D printer years ago, and he's maybe used it generously, I would say maybe 10 times, if we're going to be generous. Uh, so my husband has, a, like, kind of a graveyard of abandoned hobby materials um, that he does not use. So, yeah, that's, uh, that, that's kind of fun as a wife to, to have all, these, all, all this stuff. So... You know, fun times, <laughs> fun times, fun times at the uh, at the Cylinder Port headquarters here. Um, so yeah, I love the necklace. Oh, and by the way, just to uh, not to be a, too much of a tease, I have a few extra. I bought a few extras of this necklace, and uh, I I will I'm not not to give it away. Uh, but if you place a large order at the Cylinder Port Etsy shop, you may get a surprise gift. So I've already included a couple of these necklaces um, in large orders. I can't guarantee them, uh, but I do have a couple left. Um, so I've been kind of, I try to throw in a couple, you know, cool free free with purchase stuff uh, with the orders if they're, if they're large, okay. Lena, tell them to make you acrylic templates to sell in your shop, oh my gosh. Um, I wish, I don't know, what kind of, I've seen a lot, of, here's my thing with the templates. So I like the, like if I'm making a ton of something, like if I'm making, if I sold like, you know, if I sew, sewed and sold purses or something and I used a specific pattern, I could see the need for a template. My issue with t the, the template craze right now though is that I personally don't feel like I need a template for everything especially if I'm not going to make the project more than like once or twice. I do have like, obviously I have like some acrylic rulers that I use all the time, but as far as getting templates for specific projects or like, you know, quilt blocks or something like that, I, I don't know. I feel like at this point I don't need very many templates unless I'm going to be making a lot of something and I'm just not right now. But if, you know, if, like, if I was going to sell, like, a certain pattern and, you know, and it would make my life easier, but, I mean, it's really not the big of a deal for me to cut out a paper pattern at this point if I'm just making it a couple times. So, yeah, I don't know. But, um, that, that's me. But I do have, and I personally found that when I have bought acrylic templates, I never use them. Um, so that's kind of my beef with acrylic templates is just that I find that, um, I feel like there's some overkill with, with selling acrylic templates, and I, I don't know what I would sell to begin with. Um, okay, oh, so you've got some suggestions. The seam guide, and totally agree, yeah. So, like, that's the thing. Like, 
I've seen a lot of ones for like, you know, like there's a drunken's, uh, what's it, the drunkard's path, uh, quilt block template, lots of other curvy templates. I think they're cool. And if I, like if I was making an entire quilt and I would have to cut it out like 80 times, then yeah, I think the template would make sense. I just personally haven't had a need for a lot of templates. And the ones I have bought, I just, um, the templates I've purchased have gone abandoned and sit unused. So I feel a little bit bad about buying more when I don't even use uh, the ones I have. So, I don't know. All right, Robin, you, so you've seen some ads for the Locklick uh, Crafter. What did you think? Because I've seen them, here, I'll show you my phone. I saw them on Instagram and that's where I first found out. And I was like, I was like, what is this? All right, let me see if I can find this. Okay. All right, y'all go ahead and follow them. All right, so they do have a, um, yeah, so they, all right. How do I get rid of this? Okay. So yeah, they do have an Instagram, here, I'll show you. They have an Instagram account. There we go. I put this in front of my face. And that's where I found out about the uh, the machine to begin with. It was there, like they had some Instagram ads. And I don't know about you guys, but I've been inundated with Instagram ads for everything. Um, the current thing that I'm getting inundated with ads for are those um, hair styling products. Like, also, there's a lot of knockoffs now of the um, the Dyson Airwrap. Like, there's tons of them. And I'm also getting a lot of um, ads for, like, hair straight, like, the, the flat iron. So I'm getting a lot of those. So it's pretty, I don't know, I feel like Instagram is where a lot of those like new companies, the fly-by-night companies, that's where they're all going to do their advertising. And I'm just getting like, I'm like, I can't even keep up with all of the Instagram ads. It's just crazy. Okay, this is a good comment. All right, wow, where'd my screen go? Okay, listening and I have an opinion. So many people love templates because they do sell their wares and make things over and over. Yeah, and that's exactly why it would make sense. I am not that person, but there is a craze that they're for a uh, market, you know. Oh, and I have to tell you guys, so I did buy a couple, I bought a couple quilt block templates to try out for curve blocks, and one of them came broken in the mail, so that was kind of a bummer too. So I do feel like to selling the acrylic templates, like I know they come with that protective paper on it, but I'm wondering how many of them would actually get broken in shipping. Like you'd have to package them really well. And I was kind of bummed when mine came broken because I was like, oh, this is kind of, kind of disappointing, you know? Um, but I managed to uh, not wanting to be a wasteful person, I super glued the pieces together and they seem okay now. So I, I still have, and here's the thing, I bought these quilt block templates like a few months ago and I still haven't used them. So again, more templates that I bought that I just never, never use. So that's, you know, maybe templates just, maybe templates just aren't for me, I don't know. So that, that was, uh, that was kind of a bummer. <laughs> So yeah, I'm, I'm with you. That just might not be for me either because I just don't, I just don't end up using the, the templates. So, I don't know. All right. Oh, thank you for that. You helped me via your tutorials in purchasing a serger. I got the Brother 1034D and love it. Just love it so much that a relative all, yeah, and you know what? I've had my brother 1034D serger for over five years and I've never had an issue with it. I, again, I'm not a super heavy user of the serger, but I personally have never had a, I've never had a problem with it. Literally zero issues with it. Um, so, I mean, you know, will I go to get it serviced if it gets busted? Probably not, but it's also lasted me five years and I really didn't pay that much for it. So. I'm happy with getting, if I can get 10 years out of that Brother 1034D serger, I'll be totally happy. And then by that time, guys, I can get the Brother Airflow 3000 used off of Facebook Marketplace <laughs> because hopefully by that time, I'll be able to get a used model for cheap. <laughs> so maybe that's, you know, maybe that's, uh, maybe, maybe that's what I'll do. So maybe I just have to hold out, 
let the Brother 1034D Surger ride out a few more years and then I can get my Brother Airflow 3000. I still really want the, I, I actually really do want that Surger. I think it looks really great. And I'm really curious about that, that product. Oh, and you know what? While we're here, let me show you guys this because I am really, um, now I know I've talked about not liking random designs printed on sewing machines, but I did want to share that there are some, so I have found a couple sewing machines. Let me see. I'm not sure. I'm trying to remember which one this is. But I have found some machines, let me see if I can find this, uh, that I actually, machines with designs that I actually like. Let me see if I can find these guys. I've been wanting to talk about this for a while now. All right, here we go. Okay, here we go. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna check these out. Okay, so, All right, this is the, uh, these are from Bernina, and these are limited edition K-Facet sewing machines. And I gotta say, normally I'm not one to like designs on the sewing machines, uh, but I gotta, I gotta be real with you. I like the, I actually really like these two machines. Will I purchase either of those? No, because they're way out of my price range, but I really like, like, I really like them. I think they're, I forgot what the prices were, but one of them was like, one of them was like $7,000, and I think the other is like $2,000. I mean, they're, they're crazy. So there's two. So there's the, um, the Bernina B770 QE Plus K, KF edition, and it comes with free gifts, but I mean, this is, look, check out this design. This is actually very, like, nice. I actually do like the machine. I do actually do like the design on this. You also get, wow, you get 15 half yard cuts of K-Facet fabrics. You get a trolley and you get a dust cover. You also get some additional stitches and designs. I think that's pretty cool and, um, they have an optional embroidery module. I mean, yeah, these must be insanely expensive. I actually really do like the designs on this. And this is the other one. This is the, B4, the B435QE. This is a slightly smaller machine. I love that this comes in this aqua color. I'm a big fan of this. I think this looks super cool. So as far as sewing machines with the design, obviously this is, um, this may not appeal, this is not like a real gender neutral design for sure, but I gotta be honest, I actually do think these designs are very tasteful. And I think I'm a big K-Facet uh, fabric fan as well. well. In fact, one of the first fabrics I ever purchased was a K-Facet design. And I think his fabrics are amazing. I didn't really know it was a real person um, until I saw this, this, uh, like announcement but i think this is super cool like i just i think this is so pretty i love both of these machines and i love i do wish that sewing machines started to come in more colors like this aqua color i think the aqua in fact out of the two i think i actually like the cheaper aqua one uh better now i did see the prices of them so there's this i i did see that um there's this website called like Stitch in Heaven or something, and they actually did have the prices on them. Let me see if I can find it. It was like, yeah, it was like Stitch in Heaven or something like that. Let me see if I can find this. Where are you, Stitch in Heaven? Yeah, it was like, let me see if I can find this website because they actually had the price of the machines, which I thought was pretty rare. So this is a quilt shop in, I believe, Texas. Also, don't you guys hate all of these pop-ups asking you to join the, uh, the email list? I really wish websites would stop doing that. Uh, all right, here we go. Let's see if we can find... All right, machines. Let's see if we can find them. Because they actually did advertise the prices, which I thought was pretty cool. Or I saw some ads for them or something. Where are they? All right, I'm not seeing them. 
All right, let's see. Maybe they'll be on the Facebook page or something. All right, look. let's see here. I swear, I saw some ads with the prices and that's how I found out. And I was like, those machines cost how much? All right, stitching. Heaven. All right, sorry for my janky typing here. Uh, Bernina. All right, let's see if we can get that ad back. Oh, here we go. Okay. Or maybe not. I literally just saw... All right, where did this go? Okay, here, oh, here we go. All right, oh, it looks like they got, you know, it looks like that's it's no longer up. But I swear, before I saw a um, some ads for them and they actually had the prices listed. Okay, here we go. Yeah, and the prices were something, the prices were something kind of crazy. Yeah, it looks like they're no longer, so maybe they sold those machines already. But yeah, they used to have the prices and they were, uh, let's just say not very, these were not budget friendly machines. Oh wait, here's another one. I wonder if they'll have, maybe this website will have some prices on it. Let's see. Okay, and now this one says click. They do the whole, the whole thing where you have to call them or whatever to get the price. I really wish they would, again, this is another one of my constant beefs. Why can't they advertise prices online? Like, I mean, they can advertise car prices online. Why not? Seriously, why not sewing machines? That's just ridiculous to me. So I don't know. Just my my constant my constant gripe with uh with sewing machine sales. All right. So so the airflow really threat. Yeah. So so the air the new brother machine looks like it has similar again kind of a dupe. Similar technology to the baby lock um, air th air threading system. So, but the price looks like it's like a lot cheaper than your typical baby lock. I think the price was like eleven hundred or twelve hundred dollars. So that's not, or maybe it was like twelve ninety nine. Not terrible, but still fairly pricey. All right, I used my Cricut to make tattoos for my machine. Oh, cool. Okay, that's kind of, yeah, and I want to know if this, okay, so if this lock lick machine has the print and cut feature or like a kiss cut feature, is that something that would win you over? Because a lot of people really want that feature is a print and cut or at least being able to cut around outlines to make stickers because there are a ton of, uh, there are a ton of people who have crickets and silhouettes who make stickers for Etsy shops and that sort of thing. All right. You have a Cricut, so you can cut out a cardboard template, cut out a window in the middle if you need to fussy cut. That is very true. That is very true, but yeah. So I'm I'm super curious about this. Uh, going back to the lock, like I'm really curious about what kind of features this product has. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to write pretty, all right, so I gotta shoot another video after this. I'm shooting a video about um, where to buy an embroidery blank. So if that's something you guys are interested in, that's what's coming, coming down. Uh, but I'm going to try to email this Locklick company or HTV Runt and see if they can give me some more information about this product. Um, now, I know I have a fairly decent sized YouTube channel. If they do try to offer me some sort of influencer deal, I'm probably gonna turn it down because I wanna be able to say whatever I want about this product. And I just don't really like that when companies send you free stuff, um, they kind of try to get up in your business. So I personally would rather pay the $169 and be able to do whatever I want with it. I can blow it up, I can do whatever, and not really have to worry. But I'm really curious, is this something you guys are interested in? Um, let me know too, what features would the Locklick Crafter have to have for, for you to try it out? Um, in terms of the machine itself and also the software. What would you want the software to be able to do and what would you uh, want the machine to be able to do? A lot of people want the print and cut feature. I also wanna know like, how good is this machine? Obviously, you know, if it sucks, no, nobody's gonna wanna buy it even if it is cheaper. So I don't know, but what do you guys think? I'm, I might try to download, maybe I'll try to see if I can get the studio thing. 
Um, but I just, re I personally just want more information about the product to be able to see. I mean, and it honestly, I'm not really, I don't even care if the studio, if the software has a lot of projects, projects because you can get so many projects online for free or like on Etsy, a lot of people sell their SVG cut files on Etsy or project files. So there's really no shortage to me of, um, of, of project SVGs for you. But I, you know, I'm just curious, I'm really curious about how this whole ecosystem is going to work and like what, like how similar or will it be better to Cricut or Silhouette? Um, you know, I know also some people do have, believe it or not, some people do have the brother scanning cut. So there's a lot of options for people um, in the uh, paper crafting space. And I don't see anything wrong personally with there being another player in the electronic die cutting game. So that's what I think. All right. All right, so Ferenda says, all right, so these are the prices of the, those are the Bernie machines. Yeah, and that's what I think I remember seeing. It was like $8,000 for the bigger machine and then $3,500 for the aqua machine. $3,500 though, that is so, like that's so expensive. All right, and I think I'm gonna have to, hold on, I'm gonna have to plug in my computer. Give me one second here. All right, got to plug in the laptop here. All right, I think I'm getting all fuzzy here. All right, here we go. Gotta plug this in. I'm running out of juice here. Let's groove to some music. Have you made embroidery with iron on glitter? Sylvia, it's interesting you asked because I'm very curious. I am actually really curious about trying to do some uh, applique designs. Are there any, all right, and this is a good question. Are there any brands of iron on glitter that you recommend? like that you want to see me try because I am that is actually on my list of projects to try so I have to do a couple tests I'm going to be testing out some uh some new metallic thread that I'm going to try out the uh the glide metallic thread and see how or it's called glisten I think and then I'm also really curious to try some iron on glitter so if there's any brands that you use and like let me know in the chat or down below in the comments uh which ones would you like to see me try out and maybe do, maybe we can do some holiday uh, applique here because that's something I'm, I'm very curious about. Got the lo-fi music going on. We're grooving. And thank you for all the comments, Falana. I really appreciate everybody commenting. I'm also useful and I try to be useful and practical. Also, I'm like a, I'm a, I'm a cheap person, so that uh, that really, that kind of helps. I don't know. I just don't, I don't like to spend money if I don't have to. Oh, HTV Rot has, all right, so they have some iron-on glitter. All right, let's, we might have to look this up. Hold on a second. So HTV Rot, and also I did notice, um, you know, I did notice HTV Rot has an affiliate program, so if I like their products, I might join it just so that I get some benefit from promoting them. Um, so again, only if I actually like the stuff. If, if they suck, if any product sucks, I'm not going to be endorsing it. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's look. All right, All right we're looking here. Adhesive vinyl. Let's see. So what? All right, let me look for... Actually, we'll just check out Amazon. Hold on a second. But yeah, so HTV Run has, they do have an affiliate program, which is which is cool of them because that, that helps me as a creator. All right. Thank you, RMF. I'm glad, you, you know, and I know a lot of people really do like the embroidery videos. I need to make some more. So right after we, I right after I jump off here, I'm going to be shooting a video about where I tend to buy all of my embroidery blanks because I know with the holidays coming up, you might be looking for places to buy stuff to personalize for gifts. All right, let's let's see if we can find some glitter. All right, so it's called Iron On Glitter. Glitter, okay. I'm also wondering like, will this work well for embroidery? I'm curious. Because I know it's different. Let's do for, not for HD, but for embroidery. Okay. Glitter embroidery. 
Hold on a second. Let's see if we can find something. I know there's a company that sells, um, there's like sort of a, I forgot what the name of it. There is a company that sells this like flake away, peel away uh, glitter. It's like sheet glitter, but it doesn't have a clear protect glossy top. So the glitter is like actual glitter. Um, and then it like rips off after you embroider and it's made for embroidery machines. I forgot what the company was, but I was curious about it. I was curious about that because I was, I've been wanting, I've, I've sewn a little bit with some of my iron on glitter. Uh, the glitter I bought is the website no longer is this. So I'm going to have to find a new source uh, for recommending stuff. Let's see here. All right, let's see if we can find, oh, this is cute. Yeah, I'll have to do some looking around, but if you guys have any recommendation for um, specifically for specifically glitter iron-on sheets used for embroidery applique, let me know in the chat or the comments if you have any brands or specific products that you'd recommend, because that would be cool. We're grooving away here. Oh, and also, um, I kind of want to share this with you. This is kind of on a personal front, um, but it's pretty exciting. So uh, my husband, my husband, uh, his name is James. He's been on the channel a few times. He also has his own channel called More Approved. Um, so this is very personal news, but it's kind of a, a big change. Um, he was in the restaurant industry for two decades. So like for about 20, literally about 20 years. And he recently left to join a new industry. Um, and this is kind of like funny, but it's also sort of cool. So my husband is training to become a plumber, like no joke, a, an actual plumber. So that's kind of exciting. He actually really enjoys it so far. And he's uh, training under a like master plumber guy. And um, in a couple of years, he can actually become a licensed plumber. Uh, but he actually, like, this is probably, like, when he was, like, 18, this is probably not something that he was like, yeah, I'm going to be a plumber. But now that he's actually doing it, he actually really enjoys it. And he's, like, like, here's the thing. If you, if you are in the restaurant industry yourself or if you know anyone that's worked in restaurants, it's a pretty high churn burnout industry. And a lot of, like, it, 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 it's kind of a rough life. Like if you work in, or in the restaurant or hospitality industry, it's, it's not an easy, it's not an easy, uh, it's not an easy field and you deal with a lot of BS every day. And uh, he's left, like he, at, at the last few years, he's been kind of done with restaurants, but he wasn't sure what he was gonna do next. He's worked as a, uh, he went to culinary school He's been a general manager. He's been a chef. Um, he actually did work as a, a, a pizza, like a pizza delivery guy for a while. And surprisingly, the money you make as a pizza delivery guy or delivery person, it equals what you would make as a restaurant manager. So people might be like, oh, you know, how can you make any money as a pizza person? Uh, but believe it or not, with the tips and everything, you can actually make quite a bit of money um, if you're if you're pretty good at it. So he's recently kind of stumbled into this opportunity to uh, be a like plumber's assistant. So he's doing that now, and he loves it. Like he genuinely really enjoys it. He's a lot happier. And here's the weird thing: so the restaurant industry is like super crazy hours. Uh, at one point in our, he was working like 120 hours a week, which is insane. It was literally close to that. He practically had to sleep in his car for a while be just because he had such a tight turnaround. And uh, for the last month or so, he's been doing this flowing thing and I've never seen him happier. That's like so wild, isn't it? Uh, but if you have any kids or you know any young people that are like kind of seeking direction or they don't know what to do in their life, if they're pretty like, if they're, if they're like, here's the thing, here's the interesting thing about plumbing too, is that it's kind of a problem solving job. So you have to have like some good critical thinking skills and be able to think out of the box for solutions. 
But if you know any young people or even anyone in general who's looking for a change in direction or wants to do something new, but also doesn't want to pay to go to school and wants to make money right away, um, trades, man, plumbing, electrical, carpentry, these, in, these fields cannot get enough people to work in them. A lot of people are retiring. And what's nice about them is that there's, for a lot of these programs, you learn on the job, so you actually are getting paid as you're training. You don't have to worry about student loans or, you know, doing like a six month course or anything. You literally just start working and getting paid to train and learn. So that's actually pretty cool. So he actually really enjoys it so far. So I think it's kind of wild uh, to be married to a plumber. I don't know, but he really enjoys it. And I'm hoping he'll be able to use some of those skills to maybe like upgrade our bathroom or kitchen or something like that. So. Anyways, I just want not to get too personal, but that is because some news that I'm excited to share. He is a really handy person and he's always been do doing that kind of stuff around the house. Um, but I'm really excited about that because I think this is like a whole new change of pace for him. And I think it's really exciting. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. All right. Thank you very much for that. All right. So the new video sounds amazing. Can you shed some light on whether they're is a noticeable difference in the embroidery. You know, um, I actually don't know. I've only, I've personally mostly just used Brother Machines. So I don't have any, I don't have any first, and that's the thing with comparing sewing machines. I don't have a lot of experience with other brands because I don't own them. Um, although I've heard really good things about the Baby Lock machines. So, I mean, I can't imagine they're bad. Like they're, I've sewn on Baby Lock machines at sewing workshops. I actually really like them and I really wish I had a bigger budget for a machine. I would totally get a baby lock. I think they seem, uh, the quality seems great and they have a lot of great features that I personally like. So I, if you can get a good deal on a baby lock machine, that that might be something to, to consider. And I will say I've uh, been just cruising Facebook Marketplace looking at sewing machines just to see what's out there in the used market. And I've seen some very nice baby lock sewing and embroidery machines out there at a vast discount because they're used. So there's a lot of really, um, if you can get it used uh, from somebody, I would say that's a good, um, definitely a good avenue to look at. See if you can test out the machine. I've done a couple videos on buying um, sewing machines, but I really do think you can get a great deal on a used machine. It, you know, you just have to know what you, you look, what to look for. Obviously, um, you don't want to get scammed and you don't want to buy a dud. So there are some things to watch out for. Sorry, just need a little more water here. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm excited. I, I never, I never imagined my husband would be a plumber, but he really is loving it. Okay, here we go. Baby lock. And, yeah, they are pretty similar. I've heard some conflicting information about um, how baby lock and brother are tied together. So I'm not going to comment on that just because I don't know for sure. So, all right. Plumbing is a genius career choice. Yeah, and that's the thing. He really loves it. And here's the wild thing. His hours at the plumbing job are like Monday through Friday, nine to five. <laughs> like, that's so crazy and um yeah it's he's loving it so far and the money you can make in it is so he told me so he's working for the owner of this local plumbing business i'm not going to say what it is uh but when the guy when he told me how much this guy grossed in sales every year i fell out of my chair it was a lot more than you would think and uh, the guy literally only he only takes the jobs he wants he doesn't advertise at all because he doesn't need to. And he literally will not work weekends or evenings. So the guy will only take jobs Monday through Friday between uh, like nine to five. So neither of us have ever had a Monday through Friday, nine to five job. So it's really strange to us that he's working those hours because I would have thought as a plumber, he would be working weekends and evenings or doing like emergency calls or something. And it's really crazy that he's not working. In fact, he's probably going to be home any minute now. He really enjoys it, though, and uh, and he's loving it. But anyways, guys, I might uh, I might jump off in a little bit because I have to shoot this other video about 
the embroidery blanks. Uh, but thank you all for joining me. And also, again, final thoughts. Let me know what what is your what is your initial impression of this locklet crafting machine? Is this something you would try? And what do you what features would it have to have for you to to jump ship from Cricut to Locklick or to try it out for the first time? If you don't already have a, an electronic cutting machine, I think this is super interesting. I will continue to keep you posted. And I'm about 99% sure I'm gonna try to buy this just to see like, like what it's all about. Anyways, have a great rest of the day and I will see you all soon. Uh, and remember, whatever you're doing, uh, make it fun. I'm Jen for The Sewing Report and I will see you guys again next time.